All right, I'm Nick out in the driveway with kayaks today. Beautiful, gloomy day here in Northwest Florida. We're gonna install front rises on this kayak. Now, back first week of February, a guy named Richard, he reached out to me, he emailed me about front risers. He has a top water. He wanted to raise the front of the seat to help him stand up a little bit better. So we made these little things on the CNC machine real quick, about a day or two, sent them out to him. I wanted to make sure he received them, didn't have any issues with it before I told you guys they existed. There's already a handful of people who have found them on the website, emailed me and ordered them. So they've gone over well, right? Uh, it does come with stainless steel hardware. They are available in a half inch and one inch. The one inch version will come just like this, just two pieces. The outside's beveled on both sides, so it goes together nice and flush. I'm going to install it right here real quick on one side, fast forward to the other side, and then I'm going to take them out to the river and see how it pedals. I've never used them before, and I'm curious to see how it works. So let's take a look. First thing we're going to do is take the seat off, nothing to it, slide that out of the way. Um, I do not recommend using a hardcore drill for this. This little hand thing's amazing, or just a regular Phillips screwdriver will work. You just pop these three screws out. <clears throat> Don't lose those in case you want to go back to the regular version. That's all it looks like. The hardware we provide with the washer will just slide through there like so. And then these guys will just go in place like that. All right. Take your time when you're doing this. Screwdriver is definitely the recommended choice. That way you don't <clears throat> cross thread anything or mess anything up. Nice, easy, painless process. Do not tighten anything down initially. Initially, you just want to get everything lined up and then you will tighten everything down. Just be sure you don't cross thread anything, okay? Outside of that, nothing really to it. Alright, once they're all three in and started, you can slowly snug them up. Don't go too crazy. Nice and easy. You can make sure everything's lined up and pretty. And then snug it down. Now I will fast forward through the other side real quick and then you guys will see me reinstall the seat and we'll take it out to the water. All right, so those are installed. You can see them right there, nice and easy. The seat will slide on without a problem. Now, if you raise the front one inch, you have to raise the rear at least one inch, okay? If you do not raise the rear, you're gonna have even more of a reclined angle, okay? Now, I know the guy who wanted this, wanted it for the top water, but I wanna see what it feels like in the Predator. Some people say the Predator's tippy. I have never really agreed with those statements, however, I want to see what happens when you raise the front one inch and the rear one inch. Um, it's going to be interesting. So let's get this seat back on here real quick. If you're not familiar with how the seat goes on and off, it just lines up like so. Pull on that guy. It's probably going to do it this way. Slides in place, locks in place, and you're good to go. Um, Seat risers slide in place. They come with double-sided tape. Truthfully, I don't ever actually use double-sided tape. I just install that, install the seat like you're supposed to, strap it down, and it doesn't go anywhere. So we're gonna go out to the river, put it in the water, and I'll give you guys my first impressions because I have no idea if I like it or not. Keep watching. All right, here we go, first attempt. Water's cold, so I'm stuck.
all right there's two guys fishing at the ramp so uh, i don't i don't know i feel weird holding the camera up and talking i don't know it's just a weird thing right i'm not a professional youtuber so i videotaped getting in i really haven't been in the water with the front of the seat ever in a raised position and i actually really like it like I was going to take these back off the kayak as soon as I got home. That was like my initial impression. But I get a lot of emails about guys who this is their hamstrings aren't supported, as in their feet are so high to reach the pedals that their hamstrings aren't supported. But if you look now, my hamstrings, they're, they're better supported because the front of the seat is higher and my hips are actually above the pedals. I've complained in the you know in the past on certain videos about how I felt like my hips are below the pedals and you're kind of pedaling at an upwards angle. And that's not why Richard wanted it. Richard wanted to raise the front so he could put a uh I'll put a photo over here, a tackle box or some kind of crate underneath the seat. That's why we made them for him. But okay, uh still super stable in my mind. That inch made no difference center of gravity is the center of gravity right uh obviously the kayak still performs the same now if you do raise the front you have to raise the rear at least the same amount or higher right so i feel like i would like to raise i'm definitely going to leave the one inch rises on here which i never thought that i'd say that 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 was not something i expected i came out here to tell you guys why richard did it you know for that box underneath the seat I in no way, shape, or form thought that I would like the front seat being higher, the front of the seat, but dude, that's awesome, actually. Hamstrings are supported. Well, my knees are bent. They're not, you know, the seat's not way down there. It's more comfortable in my mind. Uh, I can stand up easier because the front of the seat is higher. My knees aren't as bent, uh, which is nice. Sitting down is easier. In the past, I felt like I was like falling, you know, back into the seat. So that is uh, a definitely, definitely different experience than I thought that I would come out here. I didn't think I'd like it at all. I'm kind of shocked about it, actually. Um, but if you raise the front, you have to raise the rear of the seat or you're going to be sitting at some kind of crazy angle. Man, I really expected to come out and to remove those as soon as I got home, but I really like it. Actually, I think it's gonna be way better on my knees now too. Um, instead of pushing up, my feet are actually angled down. I think this is gonna make a big difference too to keeping your feet on the pedals. I get a lot of emails about, hey, I wanna raise my seat because my feet come off the pedals. But raising the rear of the seat helps, but raising the front of the seat puts your knees and thighs above the pedals, which is crazy to think about. I didn't think about that. I feel like I should have thought about that. Uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I like this a lot. Uh, there are some products that we produce that we have produced for other people that we make that I don't use uh, because I don't think they're needed. I I like it. Um, I'm gonna keep the one inch risers on the front. My wife was filming outside earlier in the start of this video and I noticed she probably didn't think I would ever leave these on there either or that I would like them. Cause I said to her, I don't know how it would feel. And she was like, you're really gonna go video it and never have experienced it. And I was like, I mean, why not? At least you give people an accurate representation of what it is. So that's that front risers. We make them in a half inch and one inch, uh, comes with stainless steel hardware, uh, bolt and washers, super easy to install. You already seen that. Uh, they are available. We received the black material, right? So you guys probably saw that by looking at the start of the video. So if you ordered inserts, they are all cut and ready to ship. And the boxes are gonna be here this evening. So you guys should all start receiving shipping notifications. If you have any questions, drop a comment or send me an email at nick at navarkayakfishing.com. All right, thanks for watching.